Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to describe data analysis and interpretations. This is our tables. In these tables, there are six subjects and seven students. Math have 155, 150 marks, full marks, 130 marks, chemistry, 120 physics marks, 100 marks in geography, 100 marks in history, and computer science, 100. There are seven students who get different marks in these papers. Now, our first question is, what is the average of marks obtained by Aman for all subjects? There Aman gets 100 marks math, 80 chemistry, 80 physics, 40 geography, 80 history, and 70 computers. We can add them, all of them. There is 100 plus 80 plus 80 plus 40 plus 80 plus 70. Since we calculate the average marks, so we divide it by 6. That is 450 by 6 equal to 75. This is our required answer. So option is 75. Next question. What is the approximate percentage of marks obtained by Ayush? First of all, we add his marks. That is 90 plus 50 plus 90 plus 60 plus 70 plus 80. And we add all subject marks together. That is 150 plus 130 plus 120 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. That is, we write it as 90 plus 50 plus 90 plus 60 plus 70 plus 80 by 150 plus 130 plus 120 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 whole divided whole into into 100 that is 440 by 700 into 100 that is 62.8 percentage this is the approximate mark and our required answer is a next question what is the average of marks obtained by all candidates by physics to calculate the physics marks we take the Physics columns that is 90 plus 80 plus 70 plus 80 plus 85 plus 65 by 50. We add them and divide by all seven students. That is, we write it as 90 plus 80 plus 70 plus 80 plus 85 plus 65 plus 50 by 7. That is 52 by 7. So our answer is 75 to 8. This is approximate answer. So option is B. <coughs> Next question, who among the following has obtained the highest aggregate marks? Aggregate means we can calculate the sum of or uh, sum of the marks. That is I use, I use get the marks 90 plus 50 plus 90 plus 60 plus 70 plus 80. That is 440. Amun, Amun can calculate, Amun can get as 100 plus 80 plus 80 plus 40 plus 80 plus 70. That is he get 440, 450 marks and Sajal Sajal can get 90 plus 60 plus 70 plus 70 plus 90 plus 70. That is, he get 450. And Muskan, Muskan will get 80 plus 65 plus 80 plus 85 plus 95 plus 50 plus 90. That is 465. Here Muskan get highest mark. So answer is Muskan. Next question. Who among the following has secured the highest percentage marks in physics, chemistry and mathematics? Since the aggregate of the total subject marks are same, that is, as the denominator is the same for calculation of the percentage of the marks in all cases, there is no need to calculate the percentage figure. Simply, we calculate the aggregate marks of three subjects. We'll provide the answers. That is, I will get only three subjects: physics, chemistry, and mathematics. That is, physics. I will get physics chemistry and manage that is uh, sum of three marks 90 plus 50 plus 90 that is 230 among 100 plus 80 plus 80 260 rohit 80 plus 65 uh, plus 80 225 and muskan 80 plus 65 plus 80 that is 230 here the um, uh, subject they given that species chemistry mathematics so we take only three subjects and we get the who can get the maximum marks their maximum marks is 260 amons. So, our record answer is amons. Okay. Thank you very much. See you again in next video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channels. Thank you very much.